So pretty much uh, six months ago, I made a video about trying NeoVim and it was titled, I tried NeoVim, here's how it went. And since then, I never posted an update video so you guys could get to know how my learning experience has been. So this is, this is a scenario where I just want to discuss my experience with NeoVim a little bit. Now, first thing is the muscle memory that I want to discuss. And uh, the HJKL thing is something that I'm still building up my muscle memory for. So if I just go to my uh, simple GST app that I have been building on live streams. So if I just do nvim.env, let's say, then quickly uh, I do this HJKL thing just to refresh my muscle memory. Because sometimes it happens that I want the cursor to go left, but accidentally hit the wrong key and it goes up and things like that which is something that I'm still working on, HJKL thing. So yeah, this is a one part of the thing that I'm working with. So I'm not in a rush, I'm not in a hurry. I I'll just uh, keep working on this on the weekends and let my muscle memory build itself up. Now next thing is the editing experience. And I would say that the editing experience is really amazing. So if I just start with NVIM and just open up the file tree, the file tree opens up when I want it and it goes away when I want it. Now I know uh, the argument in VS Code that you can make that oh VS Code also has this but look at the difference here. It really does disappear entirely from my eyes. In VS Code you can still see it on the left bar a little bit given that it's an IDE so it's purposeful but NeoVim offers minimalism which is something that I do like. So if I just do this and uh, just go to controllers, um, auth, and just open up register controller. Then here I have my file, press control N, and it is like there was no file tree ever to begin with. And now I'm ready to start editing. Now, this minimalism is something that I do enjoy a little bit. Third thing is the normal mode, visual mode, and the editing mode. Now, this is something I'm still building up my muscle memory for, given that I work on NeoVim only two days a week. And, uh, <clears throat> Cutting and copying is something that is still taking some time to build up my muscle memory for because instantaneously my hands uh, go to my mouse which I know it's a cardinal sin for NeoVim users and it shouldn't be like this and it won't be like this uh, at some point. <clears throat> so going into visual mode, um, I still have to work around with HJKL keys to properly select the code that I'm trying to select then double D to cut it or control shift C to copy it. Now, this is something that is still a little bit uh, hindering up my speed because when I'm editing, I take a look at this, uh, let's say this if statement, right? Yeah. From here to here, if I want to copy it, if it was VS code, I could just take my mouse, drag it and just copy it. Control X, done. But I have to remind myself that this is NeoVim, so first go into visual mode and then press maybe Okay, K. So here it is. So now it is done. Now press double D to cut it and then go to other file to paste it. So this is something that I'm still working on and uh, I'll get there hopefully one day. All right. So what is the next thing that I want to discuss? Yeah, my hands never leave the keyboard. This is something that I, this is something that I didn't think would give me a hit of dopamine. Um, like, like initially when you start to learn programming and when it starts to uh, fall into place and you truly start to understand what you're really trying to do, I didn't realize I could still get the hit eight years into the IT sector. And that is something that NeoVim has given me. The fact that my hands can stay on the keyboard for the entire process of writing code and never go even once like, uh, It never has to be like this. This is something that I truly enjoy. And this is where I want also want to say that I do think efficiency matters when you use NeoVim. I do think, I, I do believe in it. Because the seconds that you are uh, dragging with your mouse, uh, this hand travel that you have, also in laptop there is a trackpad right here. So it does factor in a little bit when you think about the long run in terms of years, the time that you wasted with your cursor and everything. Uh, on your trackpad on or on your mouse. So I do think that there is some sort of efficiency gains when it comes to NeoVim, given that your hand never really leaves this 
escape key to the left, uh, the right side control key, your hands only stay in this region itself, which is reachable by your uh, nine fingers, eight fingers, I'm sorry. Oh, not eight fingers, I should say 10 fingers, because the thumb also can work a little bit. And uh, just the last thing I would say that I'm still using VS Code. Yeah, I will keep using it for some time. Um, I still need some time to fully shift to NeoVim, um, given that I have built my muscle memory up for VS Code as well. So given that it has supported plugins and Git lens and extensions on it, it will take me some time to port all of that over to NeoVim so that I can get uh, up and running with plugins and extensions and libraries and things like that. So here I am right now um, on this live stream. I will keep working on this GST application. You can join in every Saturday, Sunday, 12 afternoon, Indian Standard Time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, about it. See you.